First, I'd like to thank uh, Pamela and Victoria and Roberta for organizing this uh, celebration of Marine's life. And i also like to thank Charles and his family for all the support, and, and Martin, and if I forget, and Tom, and if I forget anybody, please forgive me. And uh, I, I met uh, Ren in 94 at a farm sanctuary at Watkins Glen. And since then, um, we became good friends, close friends. I, I, I met uh, his siblings in Florida, Ghislaine and Sigurd. And uh, we'll go every summer, we'll go and visit them. And uh, his mother was alive, unfortunately she passed away in, in 91. But then we kept visiting them. And then, and then Ghislaine, she mentioned the uh, tale of the durian, so I'm going to tell you the story. Mm -hmm. So Ren, um, it was in uh, 2000, Ren became more interested in, in raw foods and fruits in 95. And then I followed him one year later, 96, and he loved durian. <laughs> and, uh, they sell in Chinatown, and it's, it's frozen. I don't know about that. And, but I, I believe he had in Canada uh, fresh durian. And he, <clears throat> so we went to visit his siblings in Florida, and we found durian. That was in 2003, I believe, or 2004. And then we brought durian to the house. I don't know how many of you have had durian. It has a strong smell. Thanks. Yeah, oh boy. So his sister, she, she told us that the scent was in her house for days. <laughs> she hated it. Oh, and she didn't even want to try it. But we devoured and none of his uh, family members and friends of uh, uh, Sigurd and Guy, they, they wanted to try it. And, and uh, so Ren was also very active and, and he was uh, uh, very strong. He did gymnastics in high school, I believe in college too. And then um, I'm, I'm also, I used to be a semi-professional long distance runner. So I was, I was doing, I was telling Charles, I was, Charles used to run too. And Peter would run and Ren was in the family. And then um, I used to, in the 1980s, I used to uh, cover two miles in nine minutes, and that was, that was very good. And then in 90, around 96, 7, I started running with Ren in Prosket Park. And then Ren will pass by me. <laughs> not that, not very far, but he'll keep passing by me, and he would look at me and say, eat my sand now, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and I hated it. And then Ren, when we visited Guy and, and Sigurd in Florida, she has a swimming pool, and we, use, we compete every time, all four styles. And Ren always beat me. And he, he called my butterfly style uh, drowning moth. <laughs> and then, uh, so he beat me at ping pong, snooker, <laughs> Uh, chess, tic-tac-toe, everything, thumb, thumb wrestling, <laughs> but I, I got my revenge. I was telling Charles that story, I didn't tell him the end. I got my revenge when um, we went to a conference, I believe it was in Washington, then there was the gym in the hotel, and then I was showing Ren how to use the universal uh, weightlifting machine. So I, I, I put some weight there, then I tried 250 pounds on a leg press, and Rin did it. I said, I have to put more weight. So I put 300, and he couldn't do it. And then I did it. Hey. <laughs> and then from that day on, Rin started calling me uh, Little Super Ant. <laughs> So there was, I just wanted to share with you, there was a nice, um, Ren was supposed to, to uh, go to Brazil, he wanted, there were some informal talks that he was going to give there in Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro with, with small groups, and he, uh, he had this uh, 
on January 11th, he was scheduled to speak in a, in a very good restaurant, vegan restaurant, one of the few in Sao Paulo that he loved. And he, um, uh, the organizer, his name is Leon and his wife, they were, they're announcing that they're going to move and they're, they're vegan athletes. They're, they won the Brazilian title for uh, um, Jiu Jitsu and um, the state, Sao Paulo state title. And they're, they competed in Los Angeles last year. They got second place and they're coming back and they want to win first place. And so, so they're announcing they're moving to another state. And, and uh, Ren, they invited Ren to give a, a, small, uh, a talk to a small gathering there. And then unfortunately Ren didn't make it, but I, w I went there and they, they um, um, reminded everyone of Ren and there are many people who, there were about 35 people there and uh, they're reminiscing on Ren and Three times, as I remember, Ren went. Leon is a, is a, a philosophy high school teacher, and he he tried to introduce uh, animal rights and veganism into the curriculum of high schools. But then he had a hard time. He was uh, fired many times for trying, and then finally he got a tenure job, and they couldn't fire him, but they wouldn't let him invite speakers. And but then. He was telling, telling Ren and I that he, he would like Ren to donate some books for the school library, uh, which Ren did. And, uh, but he, um, he wanted, uh, he, I, I proposed, why don't, why don't Ren come and, and give a talk? And because he's an international person, he's not Brazilian, so this school they're gonna love, they're gonna uh, uh, call the media because there's a, this professor here uh, from the United States. So that happens, and then they let me speak there. And uh, so there were uh, 70 high school students from different classes, from different uh, uh, years. And they're very interested. Some speak a little broken English, and they're asking questions in English. They're taking pictures, the um, video taping Ren, they're going to show to their families, and and then Ren, uh, he was uh, writing uh, on the board the names and the dates, and I was translating to the, the, the students. And and the students, they, they approached Ren at the end, they said they want to study history, and they want to follow his path, and and they're telling him about the, their experience of becoming vegan and influencing their families and and the health of their parents improved and the, the family members. And then in the end, the, the director of the school, he brought a little certificate uh, to Ren, thanking for his uh, first time in, a, in, a, in the school. And then uh, all 70 students signed on the back. And Rin said that was the most uh, uh, important award that I got in my whole life because it's better than a Nobel Prize, better than anything because it had those students' names on the back. And um, so that was uh, Professor uh, uh, Leon, he mentioned that in, in that uh, on January 11th that Ren uh, went two more times to the school, and thanks to Ren, then he was able to invite more speakers to come, and, uh, and he was able uh, to put together two, publish two, Leon published two books on introducing uh, animal rights and veganism to the curriculum of high schools, public high schools all over Brazil. And uh, let me see if I have any. So, ah, one more thing. Ren, Ren was born in Hawaii, and he, uh, he left to live in Florida. And uh, then the first time that he went back there to, to give a talk at, at the Vegetarian Society of Hawaii. And then he, uh, he knew before uh, Dr. Uh, Bill Harris, who, who wrote uh, the scientific basis for vegetarianism, and he's 
he's a retired doctor and he's a pilot and, and he jumps uh, a parachute. And he invited Rin and I to, uh, to go on a glider. And I'm afraid of heights and Rin too. But we went separately because it only fits two people. So uh, Dr. Harris, he took Rin first and then uh, because Ren was, uh, he has, uh, he's over 100 pounds, so he could stay in the front, and that's the worst place for somebody who's afraid of heights. <laughs> and then uh, Dr. Harris, he did on purpose, he made the, the, uh, the plane tilt upwards, and when that happens, you could just fall, free fall, and Ren had to correct it. He, he told Ren, now you correct, and Ren did, I saw the, what, what were they doing there? Rin did, and it was fine. Then it was my turn. And because I'm 110 pounds, I can't go on the front. So then I have to be in the back. And then I, I, I didn't feel any, I wasn't afraid. So I was able to, to uh, he did the same thing to me. And it was scary going down free fall. But I was able to correct it. And, uh, and Dr. Harris invited us to jump a parachute, and we, we declined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, was, oh, I know what you mean. But that was, uh, that was uh, a very good experience that he had in Hawaii, but he didn't want to live there. He wanted to live in New York, in Brooklyn. That's uh, his favorite neighborhood, like Professor Reagan said, that he lived there, too. And, and uh, so he knows what Raymond's talking about. So that's, that's what I wanted to say.